Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, The Monkey King, Hero is Back. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. Long time ago, there was a powerful monkey king known as Sun Wokong. He had so much powers beyond belief. And at this rate, he was fearless to the extent of even challenged the heavens. He fought with every heavenly warriors, and even powerful demons like Neja, but he defeated them all. The great Buddha sees Wokong tremendous act against the heavens, and punishes him by imprisoning him within an ice cage for his actions. 500 years later, after a man had finished telling his son the story, not long when the man, his wife, his son, and his subordinates were traveling in the mountains, trolls started to attack them. The trolls killed everyone one of them, and his wife seeing no way to defend herself, jumps off the mountain to protect her son. An old man goes to the rivers to take his bath, suddenly he hears a sound of crying baby in the river, and it turns out he was the son of those travelers that was attacked by trolls earlier. The man then started to raise the baby like a son, and took him along during his traveling trips, until he later decided to stay in a small village. Few years later, the boy had grown up and is given a name by his master called, Jang Lear. Jang is now fed up been a monk like his master. He believes that reciting sutras and reading books won't scare away mountain trolls that normally disturb his village. He then proposes to his master that he wants to learn martial arts and other to defeat the trolls. His master scolded him for saying that, and reminds him on their religious beliefs on not engaging in battles. Few days later, trolls started to attack their village. The people are afraid and they are defending themselves. The monster killed a lot of villagers, and kidnaps young children, so they can be used for sacrifice, by the orders of their leader. A troll is about to take a baby girl, Jang attacks the troll, and manages take the baby girl and runs away with his master. The trolls chases after them for a really long time, until he arrives at the mountains where the monkey king was imprisoned. The monster chases him inside the mountains, where he comes across a huge ice statue. Jang places his palm on the statue, which makes the statue to break into pieces. As the monster hears the sound of the cracked statue, they are able to trace and find where Jang and the baby is. They tried to attack Jang and the baby, until someone comes out from the destroyed ice. It turns out to be the mighty monkey king, Wukong, who is now freed from the Buddha imprisonment. Wukong attacks and defeated the trolls with not much effort. As he confronts Jang, he realizes that he is just little boy, and is of no threat to him and goes away. He goes out joyfully and is really excited that he is finally free after 500 years of imprisonment. As he tries to fly up to the heavens, the chains in his hand stops him. He realizes it was a seal from Buddha to prevent him from using his magical powers. Jang discovers that he is the Monkey King and follows him wherever he goes. He asks Wukong about his adventures as the Monkey King, which makes him frustrated because he talks too much. Suddenly, a stone monster appears in front of them. It turns out that it was a monster made by Buddha to prevent Wukong from escaping. The monster is not afraid of him, because he knows the chain sealed to his hands prevents him from using his powers. Immediately, the monster and Wukong started to attack each other. Wukong manages to push the monster and with Jang's assistance, he is able to undo the spell from the monster, but Jang falls off the mountains in the process. Later on, the monsters inform their leader that Wukong has been freed from imprisonment. The leader couldn't believe it and decides to change into a human form to see for himself. When Jang wakes up, he discovers that Wukong had rescued him from falling, and he is also happy that the baby managed to survive, and appreciated Wukong for that. Wukong tries to free himself from the Buddha seal by any means possible so his powers won't be limited, but it's of no avail. Jang senses a person passing by, and trace the person to an old temple. As he goes inside, he sees a monk. And it turns out that the monk is General Tian, a god of war who Wukong defeated in battle 500 years ago, and now reincarnated as a pig demon, who is now known as Pigsy. He joins them on their adventure as well. They are later confronted by a huge dragon, who takes a look at Wukong and flies away. On the other hand, Jang Master is still on the search for him. Later that evening, the crew sees an inn and decided to lodge there for the night. Wukong looks around and notices there is something unusual about the inn. As they are all about to go to bed, Jang tells Wukong that he will pray to Buddha to free him from the chains limiting his powers, and Wukong hears those words, he is really touched. When everyone goes to bed, Pigsy wakes up and sneaks into the kitchen to find food, but he notices that he had mistaken knocked out a in guard. He quickly changes into the in guard to trick the innkeeper. The innkeeper who is unaware that Pigsy is watching her transforms into her true form, which turns out to be a troll, given a task to kidnap the baby girl from Jang. Pigsy has already reached his limits of shape-shifting for the day, and changes back to normal. As the troll sees him, 
It tries to attack him but Wukong who is being suspicious from the start rescues and defeated the troll. The other trolls arrives at the inn to kidnap the baby girl, but Wukong is able fight all the trolls and defeated them. But suddenly their leader arrives, and attacks Wukong. After a long fight, the leader manages to defeat Wukong and takes away the baby after exploding the ship their ship. Fortunately for them, they all survived. Jiang begs Wukong to rescue the baby, but Wukong who had lost the battle gave up. Jiang then goes ahead to save the baby on his own. Pigsy later meets with Wukong and reminds him on all the things Jiang says to him, and all the belief the little boy had in him. Immediately, Wukong gets motivated and tells Pigsy to get prepared for battle. Back at the troll's cave, it is revealed that their leader plan is to use all the children they have kidnapped for sacrifice to gain magical powers. Jiang later arrives at their caves and as he tries to rescue the children, the monster spots him and tries to attack him. But luckily for him, he is rescued by his master who came. Jiang and his master falls into the place where the babies are captured, which interrupted the ritual. The troll leader is really so fed up in this time, he captures Jiang. But suddenly, Wukong and Pigsy arrives with a dragon to save them. Pigsy tries to attack the troll leader but he is defeated and is turned into a pig. Then, Wukong attacks the troll leader. It is a really tough battle between them, after a long fight, Wukong uses all the strength in him to knock the leader of the trolls into a deep valley. Suddenly, a solar eclipse appears and transforms the troll leader into a titanic monstrous beast. The monster defeats Wukong and it's about to kill him. As Jiang is rescuing the children, he sees Wukong in danger and leaves the babies to his master care, while he goes to rescue Wukong. He sees the monster heading towards the defenseless Wukong, and throws a stick at it to lure it away from Wukong. Wukong manages to free himself and runs as fast as he can, to but eventually, he didn't get there in time, as the rocks from the monster's rampage crushes and kills Jiang. Wukong weeps really bad after seeing his dead body. Out of anger, he forcibly breaks Buddha's seal from him, and regains his original supernatural powers, as the Monkey King. With brute force in flames, he attacks the troll leader and defeated it as if it was nothing, by exploding its body. The movie ended when the Monkey King hears Jiang's voice, as it turns out he is still alive. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.